finished all my brazing of the copper downstairs and so we have three sets of branches branching off to the first six ton air handler and then the copper line set goes another about 10 or 15 feet and then it branches again to an eight ton air handler and then that branch goes off again to another six ton air handler all on this one piping circuit so now i'm doing a low pressure nitrogen test and to save on nitrogen in case i have a leak at my ball valves at every one of my air handlers i turned ball valves off so i'm not loading up the air handlers with nitrogen so in case i have a leak i didn't waste all that nitrogen just loading up uh, two six tons and one air, air ton eight ton air handler and I'm just focusing on my brazing on all my spots and yes I did find a leak I had a leak at one branch on the back side that where I was hanging over the side of a box uh, off the side of the roof downstairs on the room and uh, yes I had a leak and I had to go down and fix it and I did not waste, I, I found a leak at 23 PSI. I noticed as I was going up, it was taking a little longer. I didn't waste all that nitrogen filling up a whole bunch of air handlers, shut off the nitrogen, no waste, went downstairs. Today I'm working, my son's not with me, he's attending a, a funeral. So I'm by myself today and I ran downstairs, I heard the hissing and located the leak and fixed the leak came back up here now i'm i'm testing my first stage after doing my repair it's holding rock steady at 97. now this is not the setup i'm going to use to do my test and you definitely do not do your high pressure test through a pair of adapter valves like these appions or any of the other brands that's another leak point don't trust these i've had them leak before when you get up to 400 600 psi don't use these for high pressure you don't need to go looking for a leak and all the time it was your little valves there. So those will be removed. I'm now going to open up my ball valves downstairs. And uh, because they're LG units, I've never had a leak on an air handler. So that's why I don't test them. My only brazing is after the bell, uh, ball, ball valve and going in. So I have two little braze spots there and brazing going from the air handler back into the low side ball valve um, so I'll be checking those now but right now the preliminary everything is good now uh, I'll be testing this say at 250 280 something like that for eight hours overnight I'll come back tomorrow morning I'll pump it up to about 450 psi uh, overnight for about eight hours and then I'll pump it up the next day. I'll come in on Monday and pump it up to 600 PSI for 24 hours. And then I'll know whether I'm good or not. Only until I do 600 PSI for 24 hours has this passed my uh, bill of health. And then I can put it on the vacuum pump for 24 hours. Or whatever it takes to get it down to roughly below 100 microns or so. And that's about it for this little episode.